Welcome to this short demo of the Debrick tool. Our tool focuses on finding vulnerabilities in the dependencies that you import into your code and helps you to fix them. We present this information on three different perspectives. The repository view, the vulnerability view, and the dependency view. For this video, let's start with the repository view. In this view, you get some overview information of each repository, such as total amount of vulnerabilities, how critical they are, and if you've set some review status. I'll get into this more later. To get more information about any repo, you can simply click on it. Going into a repository, you can again choose to view it from the perspective of vulnerabilities or dependencies. You may also choose to view all branches or to select a specific branch if you wish to view information about that specific branch. In the Vulnerabilities tab, you get one vulnerability per row with some overarching information about that vulnerability, such as severity based on CVSS3, CVSS2, and a row score called DebII. You can also see which dependency is affected by the vulnerability, in this case Growl. You then see if you've set a review status, if there are any known manual fixes available or any exploits that might, you might be affected by, and if you've integrated to a ticket system such as Jira or GitHub issues, you can track the progress of the issues if they're open, in progress or closed. Clicking into a vulnerability, you get more detailed information about that vulnerability. In this view, there's really three things that you need to do. First, you need to read the provided information and understand what the vulnerability is about and if you need to take action. Once you've done that, you're asked to set a review status, saying that yes, we are indeed vulnerable, or no, we are unaffected. If you're unaffected, go ahead and keep using the dependency, but if you are vulnerable, you'll probably want to fix that. To do that, click on Suggested Fix, and you are presented with which dependency file does the problem exist in, and which rows need to be changed from what version into the new version. In this case, you're asked to update from version 1.9.2 into version above or equal to 1.10.2. To do that, simply copy the information into your package lock file and commit it. In the very near future, we will also be adding a button right here saying open pull request, and we will do this for you.